सो so, आज हम लोग आपके सामने एक नया वीडियो लेकर आए हैं अब तक हमने जो वीडियो दिखाए थे उसमें हम लोगों ने ये आपको बताने की कोशिश की थी कि किस तरह से आई बैंक और आई सी और फॉर दैट मैटर दूसरे बैंक्स के एम्प्लॉयज़ इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसीज़ को गलत तरीके से सेल कर रहे हैं मिस सेल कर रहे हैं जो केसेस हमने हाईलाइट किए उनमें से अधिकतर केसेस हम लोग सॉल्व करवाने में आप लोगों की मदद से हम लोग को काफ़ी हेल्प मिली है और हम लोग काफ़ी लोगों की हेल्प कर पाए हैं विच इज़ अ गुड पार्ट हम लोगों ने इस बार एक स्टेप आगे गए हैं और हम लोगों ने इस वीडियो के माध्यम से ये समझाने की कोशिश करी है कि किस तरह से आई बैंक में रिक्रूटमेंट प्रोसीजर एक रिक्रूटमेंट प्रोसीजर है आई बैंक जो कि महीपाल एकेडमी की पार्टनरशिप में रन करता है और वो प्रोसेस क्यों फॉल्टी है Uh, कैसे उसमें क्या फॉल्ट्स हैं और उन फॉल्ट्स के कारण क्यों एम्प्लॉयज़ इतना प्रेशर में रहते हैं और वो क्यों मिस uh, सेल करने के लिए uh, भी रेडी हो जाते हैं क्लाइंट्स के साथ में चीट करने के लिए भी रेडी हो जाते हैं uh, क्योंकि इस तरह का प्रेशर बनाया जाता है इस तरह का प्रेशर उनके ऊपर रहता है सो so, uh, ये हम लोग डिस्कस करेंगे uh, आज हमारे साथ में आई के एक एक्स एम्प्लॉयी जुड़े हैं और वो सारा उन्होंने किस तरह से उन्हें जॉइनिंग कराया गया जॉइनिंग के बाद में उन उन पर किस तरह से जॉइनिंग के टाइम पे उनके ऊपर किस तरह से चार लाख रुपए का लोन लाद दिया गया और किस प्रेशर में वो काम करते थे और क्यों उन्हें अपनी मॉरल और ना एथिकल ड्यूटीज़ को साइड करके साइड करके फ्रेश दिस थिंग सेल्स टारगेट्स के प्रेशर के अंडर में काम कर, करते हुए लोगों के साथ मिस सेलिंग करना एक मजबूरी बन जाता था so it's a very good video I would request you to please see the complete video uh, video को like कीजिए share कीजिए हमारे काम को और हमें मजबूत बनाइए thank you हम लोग Instagram पर भी हैं Instagram का link description में दिया गया है please follow us on Instagram also thank you hi Anwar hi how are you I am good Anwar how are you fine Okay, so audience, we have Anwar today with us, and uh, he is an ex-employee of ICICI, and he wants to share how uh, people in ICICI Bank are getting employed through Manipal Academy, and how uh, ICICI Bank hires them in the uh, uh, in the name of and in the name of giving them training, uh, a charge is levied upon them, a fee charge is levied upon them. uh it is told to them like uh, they would be uh they would be hired after completing this training program the cost of the training program is uh, uh no borne by icici group only but but if the employee after passing that training program if he leaves within 2 years a heavy penalty is levied uh, because of that it 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 is a kind of a bonded labor so let us hear it out from anwar himself how he got got into all this and uh, how he managed to survive and how he managed to uh, na uh, leave the country uh, after completing 3 years of his service and uh, anwar has requested not to reveal his identity so during the entire uh, video we will not take his entire name and we will uh, have his face blurred am i right anwar yeah exactly so anwar tell us like uh, how it all started right from the beginning so it, it yeah it started in like uh, november of 22 that i saw an advertisement for a newspaper that icic bank is having probationary officer program they that and they are hiring people who have graduates with 60 percentage of aggregate score in graduation and when i applied it all, for that uh, there was an exam conducted and once you pass the exam there was an interview and once the interview is done it happens very quickly when compared to other banks it is there's no delay It, it it just happens in three four months the entire process and once it's been done, I went to join the Manipal Academy program that for the training for ICICI Bank. Okay, so it was told to you that it is a training program, but uh, who yeah. paid the fees for this training program and how uh, so how it how it works? Yeah, so actually for the for this training program, their own training program to work in their bank. so they are giving a loan of like that time it was 3 lakh rupees so it increases year upon year and 3 lakh will be paid by icic bank for their own training so that is the funny part and uh, once you are being like successful completion of training that means for 9 months you will be put in back in banking as assistant manager grade 1 and uh, according to the needs of the company that is bank you have to work and 
for five years, this amount will be deducted with interest from uh, from our salary. It will be credited after uh, the salaries um, from the day once the loan amount is deducted every year, just like a normal loan. And if you are leaving within two years, then heavy penalty of 24 percentage will be levied. And once two years is completed, you have to pay like rate of interest, depending upon the bank's discretion. And five years, you would pay the entire amount, and then only they will give a certificate back. Till that time, it's, it's a form of bonded labor. Okay, so let me summarize this thing. So, what is the audience? Anwar, you can say that Anwar has an advertisement in the uh, uh, newspaper. Mein. जिसमें कि आईसीआईसीआई बैंक प्रोबेशनरी ऑफिसर्स रिक्रूट कर रहा है ये बताया जाता है प्रोबेशनरी ऑफिसर्स रिक्रूट करने के लिए आईसीआईसीआई बैंक आ, ये शर्त रखता है कि मणिपाल यूनिवर्सिटी जो कि उनका पार्टनर है मणिपाल एकेडमी से आ, ब, आ, जो जो बंदे रिक्रूट होंगे इंटरव्यू के पास में बाद में जो बच्चे पास होंगे उन बच्चों को नाइन मंथ का ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम करना होगा अभी ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम आईसीआईसीआई बैंक को ज्वाइन करने से पहले है सो so, आइडियली ये खर्चा आईसीआईसी बैंक को ही उठाना चाहिए बट और बट होता क्या है कि ये खर्चा जो भी तीन लाख रुपए फीस है या चार लाख रुपए फीस है वो एज अ सब्सिडाइज लोन कैंडिडेट के नाम से मणिपाल एकेडमी को इशू कर दिया जाता है और ये लोन जब ये ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम कंप्लीट होगा जो बंदा एज एन एम्प्लॉय ज्वाइन करेगा उनकी सैलरी में से ये लोन का ई एम काटा जाएगा एम आई राइट Yeah, exactly. Anwar, okay. So, what was your salary when you joined? So they tell it's like four lakh package, but that four lakh, one lakh will go for like uh, it's supposed to be the bonus part. So the truth is that you get three lakhs, and that to three lakhs out of the three lakhs, the loan amount like six thousand will go every month. And to be honest, it was starting salary was eighteen thousand, twenty thousand around that range per month. Okay, and your family thinks that it is a very coveted job. The candidate thinks that it is a very coveted job. What actually happens during the job? What what you were taught in the academy and what was on the ground? Uh, what 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 was happening on the ground? See, the ground reality was totally different. But by the time uh, we employees come to know about it, it's too late. Because the, the truth is that you know they just uses a probationary officer brand name because it has a good brand name because people start thinking just like a normal bank. But and and to be honest, in the training program in nine months, they teach you everything related to banking, like how the LIBOR rate works, how the RTGS works, how the NEFT works in detail banking. But once you are completed the nine months course, the the rigorous training, and once you are put in the banking. It's totally different. You are just a glorified salesman. So in that time, it's like it's contradictory. But by that time, it's too late because if you plan to leave, then you have to pay the penalty, interest, everything. Your certificates are kept as bond by the bank. So, so you will be in a big dilemma. Okay. So you mentioned the word glorified salesman. What were you supposed to say? Uh, sell? Like what? What? What were you asked to sell? To be honest, what not? Everything is sales because every customer who comes there, we are supposed to bring 10 NCA. They call it. So in banking sector, in branch banking, in ICIC, there are like three categories basically. Well, one is called a VB, is a value banker. One is called a privileged banker, and there is a CSO and a CSM. CSO means cash service officer, customer service officer, and customer service manager. Okay. So these names are all yeah. These are names are all deceiving. So whether you are a value banker or a privileged banker, ultimately all what you do is sales. Sales of that means ten NCA new summer acquisition you have to do in a month. You have to then there are almost like twenty twenty one products you have to, and among them the yeah almost twenty one products you have to sell. And these products importance and priority depends upon the at the regional head level that every day new new priorities comes. So out of these products, like you have to sell every product just like in a bank, but very unlikely of other banks, this bank doesn't focus on fixed deposit. They doesn't want that. They want to sell life insurance. That is the most important product. You do sell every other product, but if you don't do life insurance product, your annual rating appraisal will be totally gone. They don't want that. Even if you do 100 errors in banking, no problem. Okay, hold on. Anwar, so you mean to say uh, you were taught banking in uh, the training program, uh, but yes. on ground you were asked to sell insurance policies and many other products, 
but you say ki like the the utmost priority was given to life insurance am i right yeah yeah exactly so there is like a, the famous saying people used to tell like the north indians used to tell that in icic every other product is jeevatma but uh, life insurance is paramatma okay that's what they tell because <laughs> without the paramatma there is no existence of course acha uh, uh, tell me like during the entire program the training program were you informed that your job profile would include selling of insurance policies and that to uh, uh, like na selling of insurance policies in such a, uh, a such a manner yeah the, the truth is that see, selling insurance policy that everybody can understand but the truth is in icic insurance policy is not sold as an insurance policy it's been sold as a earned deposit or a fixed deposit or mutual fund or whatever it may be depending upon the financial knowledge of the customer in front of you if the customer knows certain product like details about life insurance policy they will change the way to approach him okay so ultimately the aim is just to sell life policy by hook or by crook okay and how do you how do you come to know that whether the customer knows about life insurance what is the knowledge of the customer how uh, i matlab na how is this done you see actually icic has uh, as a bank it has uh, invested heavily on like getting the information of customer for example they have an application called i sense i view where like you get the entire kundli of the customer who comes and sits in front of you for example where did he do the last transaction how much he have in his account how much money is being not being used it's just like a business tool for them which is being used like that for example if customer has not touched money for like say past one year it will show indicate to you that oh he is not using that means he doesn't need that much money sell life insurance it will suggest you that application okay so, by yeah they you just use technology for that anyway the aid is only to sell life insurance acha even if the even if the system does not say sell life insurance even then uh, can they sell life insurance to that customer life insurance is just like uh, it's the flagship product that is the only product they want actually so every day morning they will have a huddle meeting with the branch manager or the senior branch manager whoever comes there in the branch there was a post culture branch manager so that particular person also is the boss of branch managers but recently they removed it cluster branch manager level they given the additional responsibility to the regional head so whether okay but my question was uh, i am coming back to uh, again to it uh, were you told during the training program in manipal academy that you were supposed to sell life insurance that's uh, that life insurance would be a flagship product that, and the only and only focus would be on life insurance that you would be uh, you would be required to sell life insurance aggressively no way they don't even use the word sales in the training program because if if the, if any any of the students who went there in the training program if they come to know that you are going to sell life insurance policy i think vast majority of never join okay in fact even from previous employees we have heard that the the, the training program when it started initially there was not a bond there was no bond initially and once the the employees after training were inducted into the bank and they they were forced to sell life insurance policy almost 100 percentage of them left the job so understanding that the bank used this bond technique by keeping the certificates there and as a bondage that you are a part of a bonded labor that when you are forced to sell life insurance you cannot leave so they use that trap the initial phase of the this training program there was no such bond that's what the seniors told okay let me inform my audience now uh, so audience uh, if you understand the point anwar ye kehna chahte hain ki anwar ko ek advertisement dikha kar ke po probationary officer uh, recruit karne ke liye unko ek advertisement dikha kar ke ek training program mein induct kiya jata hai wo training program ka cost of course icici bank uh, ek bar ke liye pay kar raha hai as a subsidized loan uh, jo ki student ke naam par ke uh, naam par मणिपाल uh, एकेडमी को दिया गया है ओके okay? और बाद में रिकवर किया जा रहा है स्टूडेंट की सैलरी से जो कि स्टूडेंट बाद में कंपनी का एम्प्लॉय बन जाता है उस एम्प्लॉय की सैलरी से वो डिडक्ट uh, किया जा रहा है एंड अभी होता क्या है कि uh, अगर वो बंदा uh, जब पता लगता है ट्रेनिंग में तो ये नहीं बताया जा रहा है कि आपको सेल्स करना है बट ऑन ग्राउंड जब वो जॉब लग रही है तब उनको सेल्स करवाया जा रहा है अब वो बंदा छोड़ भी नहीं सकता है जॉब क्योंकि उसके ऊपर ऑलरेडी तीन लाख रुपए चार लाख रुपए का लोन आ चुका है ओके okay? 
अभी अगर वो छोड़ना चाहे तो वो उसको लोन चुकाना पड़ेगा एट हैवी पेनल्टी विथ हैवी इंटरेस्ट रेट्स और इसीलिए उसको मजबूरी में उसको वो सेल्स करना पड़ेगा नाउ अनवर इफ यू कैन इन्फॉर्म अस कि लाइक जो जो लोग सेल नहीं कर पाते हैं या जो लोग मिस सेल नहीं कर पाते हैं बिकॉज लाइफ इंश्योरेंस सेलिंग इज द हार्डेस्ट सेलिंग इज इज द मोस्ट टफेस्ट सेलिंग सो बहुत सारे बंदे सरवाइव नहीं कर पाते होंगे या सेल नहीं कर पाते होंगे तो अब क्या होता है व्हाट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स हैपन आफ्टर दैट सी फ्रैंकली स्पीकिंग द द ट्रूथ इज दैट दे विल स्टार्ट गिविंग ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स फॉर हाउ टू चीट पीपल बिकॉज़ देयर इज अ ग्रुप कॉल्ड टू बी ऑनेस्ट आईसीआईसी बैंक इज नथिंग बट इट्स आईसीआईसी प्रोडेंशियल इज गाइस सो there there will be icc prudential staffs all around in the bank who will be walking here and there every day whenever they see a worthy customer they will go and speak to branch manager in fact branch manager will come near the employees and tell sell sell them sell them that is the only motto they have so if you, you are not able to sell then every day you will be having harassment shaming you in front of other staff forcing you to resign or even forcing like there are many employees to manipal academy who have joined have absconded from the bank and the hardest part is that there are even employees who have done suicide that is the truth yes i have heard about the suicide thing i i have seen newspapers also the uh, so that i know that i know like but what is the scale of this thing like how many suicides are happening uh, uh, was there anyone in your knowledge who committed suicide see uh, in my knowledge from my batch itself there was a it's a lady i don't know whether i can use her name her name was anusha she she has committed suicide it was because of the pressure from the branch manager she, he was forcing it was in tamil nadu she was forced to do miscelling and but later on somehow it was just told as a as told as a family issue but the truth is that she used to discuss with all of us regarding that there is too much of pressure of selling life insurance policy because she was put in in a village branch and in village branch how you are going to sell life insurance policy to people who are having low income okay but uh, did it ever happen that you were able to speak to this uh, lady's family uh one time we spoke to like but the thing is that see already they have lost the daughter and we cannot speak about all these things they were just simply cursing the bank that when did we decide to join this bank all this pressure happening many employees do abscond also these things happen but it will never come to limelight because it's a busy world and and you cannot connect it to bank actually that is the truth but the, the, the fact is that what happens is that you, you see when you are being pressurized for doing something which is not supposed to be done you end up in doing you become aggressive you become depressed so many after more happens right and most of the employees who leave the job by paying back the entire penalty interest everything so in both cases bank is in win win situation either you become a you become a big fraudster in selling or reselling or you leave the company either way the bank will get more than what it has invested So it's but this way like they are playing with that. the lives of their uh, of of a young generation like the entire young generation they are they are either minting criminals or they are making them leave the uh, na leave the bank under depression am i right exactly that's what happens so either you become a criminal or either you get depressed Yeah, exactly because uh, uh, the, the truth is that first thing that the icc prudential staff will teach you is how to do forgery that is the truth okay and what kind of forgeries are done see the thing is that for selling life insurance policy because when it is being sold as a fixed deposit customer when the customer in front of you because there is lot of applications which needs to be signed okay so the customer will not be signing all those documents because if they tend to read the details they will not give their consent so icic bank uses from its own software financial every customer signature is visible that signature is being used and the icic prudential staff will do forgery i am actually not tell of anyone but the truth is this is what is happening in the branches no we have highlighted many cases of signature forgery in the past but uh, uh, like from quite few months like like uh, na uh, from last few years we have not come across any such case 
but yes in the past we have highlighted many cases of signature forgery that there therefore i can vouch uh, yes this kind of things do happen there yeah exactly it happens on a daily basis because like see because the uh, the life insurance policy amounts which are being forced to sell are of exorbitant amount because the the monthly target in a brand in a every month is nothing less than 20 to 25 lakhs rupees every month Even of life insurance small brands yeah life insurance alone because that is the that is the senior management tells that life insurance sales is the only thing which can make the branch into profitability index okay okay because the prudential will be selling i mean giving more than 14 percentage profit to the bank branch okay got your point so uh, one more thing uh, you had discussed during our previous call uh, about uh, nri stamps being used like the passport stamps of nri inward being yeah. used on another how does that that happen if you can please explain and it, does yeah, that actually happen that, yeah because there is always a technique of collecting customer information and customer who are not coming to the bank by using the kyc kyc is actually know your customer is mandated by rbi just to make sure that fraud is not being happening in the banking industry but ironically bank like icici uses this technique to do fraud because nri customers will be constantly send mails that re kyc updation so the so the when they visit especially from middle east when they visit their hometown they will come to the branch for like giving their passport and when they give the passport icici officials will definitely be asking that immigration stamp we need to update because in your passport the day of immigration uh, will be stamped and that okay. will be collected from all the nris who are coming so they have two multi purpose uh, the, 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 the truth is that when these customers come back they will try to sell life insurance policy if they okay. escape that time anyway they will get from kyc the immigration stamp so this immigration stamp will be used purpose of selling for life insurance policies for nris who have not visited the hometown when they are abroad itself they just make a call okay so uh, let me explain this thing you mean to say a customer who uh, who came to india on suppose say suppose 1st of january 2021 okay uh, his kyc was collected okay uh, yeah, he left they, the they will... yeah. sorry ha so his his kyc yeah, was yeah, collected exactly. okay the immigration stamp on his passport was 1st of january 2021 am i right okay yeah and exactly. now some other customer who did not visit india during that period but has been sold life insurance policy while he is sitting abroad uh, the, uh, the 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 immigration stamp of the customer who visited india in uh, january 2021 would be taken from his uh, passport and would be put on the passport of another customer who has been sold insurance policy while he was sitting abroad would be used am i right exactly because you just need that immigration page not the first and last page you just need the that particular page that will be used for example a customer from for from uk they use this particular for a customer from singapore they will use that singapore customers kyc so they will have every detail in their bank records right so that will be used for sales of and for another customer and that another customer will uh, does not know ki like uh... uh he was supposed to be in india while purchasing the insurance policy so he would never complain and he would not never know ki like uh, uh he has been shown to be in india in the records of icici prudential by using stamp of some other passport am i right yeah, exactly because the customer doesn't even know that they are being sold life insurance policy after only one or two years when the second premium mail comes they will come to know because for a fixed deposit there is no yearly premium right so audience at this point i would request you to uh, please watch our video uh, of uh, this lady from usa her name is uma i cannot take her complete name but her case was resolved uh, and you would be able to relate exactly what uma ma'am said at the time of uh, na marking the complaint the, the and what anwar ji is currently speaking about so and uh, we will end this interview here at this point in time and we will upload the second part of anwar's uh, uh, this thing uh, interview later thank you
ये पॉलिसीज जो इशू हुई हैं ये आपके बच्चों के नाम पे इशू हुई हैं नमस्ते उमा मैम नमस्ते नितिन जी कैसे हो मैम हम ठीक हैं एट द टाइम ऑफ इशुएंस ऑफ द पॉलिसी एट द टाइम ऑफ साइनिंग ऑफ द प्रपोजल फॉर्म द प्रपोजल नीड्स टू बी इन इंडिया जो कि मतलब आपके बच्चे जो इनको इन पॉलिसी में प्रपोजल बनाया गया है वो जब पेपर साइन कर रहे थे एज पर लॉ दे वर रिक्वायर्ड टू बी इन इंडिया तो क्या वो जून जुलाई 2018 में इंडिया में थे बिल्कुल नहीं थे वो okay. वो तो अमेरिका में थे उस समय दोनों बिल्कुल यस एंड दिस दिस थिंग कैन बी इजीली वेरीफाइड बाय उनकी कॉपी उनके पासपोर्ट कॉपी को देख करके बहुत इजीली अपन लोग वेरीफाई कर सकते हैं ये चीज हमने कम्प्लेन की कि ये भेजिए तो हमने भेजा लेकिन yeah. कुछ उन्होंने देखा ही नहीं कुछ एक्शन ही नहीं लिया एंड दिस इज कम्प्लीटली अप्स एंड दिस इज कम्प्लीटली इलिंग and the thing called to prevent fraud ird has implemented plvc calls verification ah. calls so okay. that verification for so there is an easy method of doing it because most of the time when when the customers who are at at the branch when 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 it's like a branch sales or something the icc prudential staff will take take the phone from the customer and just tell that we need to give the details when the customer will be drinking tea or coffee in the meantime the icc prudential sales staff will be taking the customer call and they will just tell the customer that we need to give the details to our head department about the customer because there's a insurance involved in it like free insurance they tell fixed deposit with free life cover so okay. life cover we have to give the details and yeah so they will do the verification call so so, so that also is like being This so we have yes this so we have encountered in n number of cases wherein we have found that the PIVC pre issuance verification call was done by the employees was recorded by the employee in his uh, voice but uh, by uh, misrepresenting him, the employee misrepresents himself as the customer before the call center uh, na in front of the call center uh, during the call he says ki like i am so and so customer uh, but in reality he is the employee and he possesses himself yeah he he uh, represents himself as uh, the employee uh, as the customer so this is customer, this is what exactly. happens yes this to we know okay and uh, what about uh, uh, na wrong updation of contact numbers and wrong updation of email ids see that is also in a organized way they do because uh, the, the truth is that because the customer is not aware of the fact that they are being sold life insurance policy so they just 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 make sure that the offer document the customer is not receiving for that they purposefully give wrong email id and wrong contact information because they will not have any follow up regarding that and once the free look period is been completed then only the customer will receive the documents because that will also happen only if the customer comes after the free look and where is my document because the, most of the customers will come and ask where is the fixed deposit receipt Mm-hmm. that is the worst funny part because they because yes. they think that they have done the fixed deposit fixed then deposit. these people will tell that the branch manager will can will see the thing is that the customer's trust is being exploited because yes, the branch course. manager is giving you the consent that oh yeah no 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 problem it's money is safe with us because it's an organized crime from the grassroots level to the top management it is there so the customer will think that okay my receipt is safe with the bank but it's not a fixed deposit they will come to know the next year or afterwards by that time it will be too late and also this this fund will be in discontinuation fund that it will happen in 90 percentage of the cases and what happens to people who who are not able to miss sell or who are not able to sell insurance like insurance see to be honest for me like once i realized like i was in the bank i i sold one or two policies as life insurance policies and to be honest when the free look happens because if you tell the truth to the customer customer nobody will be taking it so what i have seen is that branch manager started convincing you that try to sell it sell it tell sell them giving excel sheets they will have a training programs also for that how to sell they will show you fake excel sheets for like icic pro elite life elite wealth wealth builder lot of unique products are there so once you are not selling these products to the customer then the branch manager start harassing you uh, the, the cluster branch manager start harassing you even if you are very good in process like you have not done any error or whatever it may be i am a process oriented person to be honest and i don't because the simple reason i don't want to cheat people by telling fake things and selling them because i believe in karma and what you comes back to you exactly So, nice. so th- that is what is happening, and they start harassing you. 
they, they put you on transfer or deputation to different branches make sure that you wander like a like a, like anything every day uh, i understand i understand and uh, like you also told about the morning hurdles the evening uh, uh, no uh, achievement yeah. versus some yeah what 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 is that yeah every employee uh, in a branch the branch manager concerned person who takes the hurdle in the morning it's called hurdle meeting that you you have to give commitment how much accounts you will sell how many sips you will sell how much of uh, loan against fd you do all this commitment they will take but among them the most important thing is life insurance how much and that will be in lakhs like how much commitment you give whether it's a value banker or a privilege banker whoever it may be different profiles you have to sell at least 10 lakh rupees every month that's what they demand mm -hmm. from an individual and employee there will be from an individual employee and even if the employee is being paid 15000 rupees also in a month they still demand this much amount and end of the day they will start review performance was achievement whatever it may be and they started like harassing okay and what all is uh, told uh, if the if the if the employee has not been able to uh, complete his uh, day targets daily targets or monthly targets how is he treated amongst others who have been able to complete the targets the first thing what they will try to do that they will try to scold leave the company resign then they will deny your leave if you ask for any leave or vacation or whatever may be they started even they would not permit you even sick leave if you have not completed your target okay. that's what they do the first level is harassment okay okay and uh, you told me like uh, people get depressed also so what like how many of your batchmates were able to continue their job for the complete five years term or like were they able to complete uh, how much time were they able to complete? I think and 90 percentage will not come. 90 percentage of them will not complete five years. Some of them leave ICIC and join competitor banks, thinking like they don't need to sell that much of life insurance. They're also like, I, I know many of my colleagues who work with me went to Access Bank, HDFC. I used to interact with some of them. Some of them comes in social media. They tell, at least I'm not selling that much of life insurance these days because they cater to other banking products also. Okay. like liability not only liability assets also okay so so uh, this kind of pressure is not there in other banks you mean to say that of selling yeah, life insurance exactly At, no se life insurance is icic is masterpiece other banks they do sell life insurance but it do cater to other products banking products also they do proper banking got your point got your point so uh, anwar will take this uh, the second part of this interview probably tomorrow let us close for now because uh, already uh, now the interview has uh, like crossed our time limit of 20 to 20 30 minutes so uh, we'll do a second part uh, probably in a day or two is that okay anwar okay no problem no, pro thank no you. problem you just message me okay thank perfectly you. okay thank you anwar thank you